I'm just going to pull very gently from the top. See, and it's just coming apart there. Yoink. Cool. Are you ready? Hey, everybody. Today, I'm going to do a super short video on how to remove the heat spreaders from your RAM. Um, if you're watching this, you probably know that you already need to remove the heat spreaders from your RAM, uh, probably because of clearance, or maybe you just want to customize your heat spreaders and paint them up. Um, we're not going to cover customizing them, but I will cover just how to remove them. Um, all you really need is a little bit of care and patience. Um, and a heat source and a domestic hairdryer is normally fine. If you've got a heat gun, that might be better. You don't want it to go too hot. Um, the only issue with using a hairdryer is it tends to blow as well, so you find that the RAM sort of blows away, so you have to kind of hold it in place. So you really need the heat, but um, a hairdryer is fine. Um, I've got a case over here uh, with some RAM slots in, but unfortunately, although the RAM fits in just fine, I can't actually close the case because there's a drive bay that goes on top and the clearance is just not enough to fit the RAM in with the heat spreaders on top. So I decided enough was enough after running it for a few weeks with the case lid off, and I decided to remove the heat spreaders. Now these ones from Corsair, uh, this is Corsair Vengeance RAM, it's two 8 gig modules. They're just held on by some thermal tape on the back, which once you've warmed it up a little bit with a domestic hairdryer, comes off super easy. There's a little uh, metallic red clip that goes on the top, which again is just cosmetic, doesn't serve any purposes. There are no screws or any other complicated pieces here. They, it's a super cheap way of just putting the heat spreaders on, and it's really just all about branding. Your RAM's never going to get that hot that you actually need the, um, need the heat spreaders on top. Now, the tools I used are a little green plastic lollipop stick, which came from a kid's craft kit. But if you've got one of those uh, sort of IT spooges that are used for sort of prying apart IT cases and things, that would be perfect as well. Uh, try not to use anything metal or sharp. You don't want to do that. And I just used a domestic hairdryer. So I've done this one already. And as you can see, it comes off really easy. Um, this is kind of really sticky. Sticks to your fingers. Um, and the RAM comes off nice and clean, so that'll just go in nice and easy. Uh, so we'll just do a little quick video on how to actually get the RAM off using a hairdryer. I happen to have a uh, professional quality um, hairdresser power hairdryer that pumps out a decent amount of heat, uh, this one here. Um, but really any sort of domestic hairdresser will be fine, it just needs to have a decent amount of heat. Now do use this and be patient, don't rush it. If you pull too soon, what you can end up doing is ripping the little chips off of the um, RAM. So you don't want to do that, your RAM will be busted. So take your time, be patient, don't rush it. Okay, so we're going to turn this on. You, know, you want to hold on to the RAM because it's going to start blowing everywhere. If you've got a heat gun, you're not going to have that problem. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to fast forward because this is going to make a ton of noise. And okay, so this is getting really hot now. So we've done this for uh, 30 seconds or almost a minute. So we're going to start to pry the uh, top of the RAM open a little bit and see if we can get it off here. I'm going to have to start with the sides. It actually is really hot. Ouch. Okay. You can hear the glue creaking. Yeah. Okay, so decent bit more heat. Yikes, how hot is that? Yeah, that's hot. Okay, let's work quickly before it cools down. Okay, so let's get that in there. Let's try from the other side. Nice squeegee sounds, it's coming off. Okay, I'm just gonna pull very gently from the top. See, and it's just coming apart there. Yoink. Cool, that one came off really cleanly. So it's really easy, just patience and just a little bit of heat. Make sure that the glue's evenly warmed up and that's going to come off. That one's come off really nicely. You could probably even just pop that back on if you were going to sell the RAM or use it somewhere else again. And then you can just very carefully start working the other side as well. Okay, let's give this one a try. How are we going to do this? Let's go from the top here. Perfect, and off it comes, done. Ram with no heat sinks, nice and easy. And there we are, all done, super easy. Removing the heat spreaders wasn't as difficult as I thought. Um, the glue came off really easily, nice and smoothly, no residue left on the ram. Uh, plenty of heat, plenty of patience, uh, something nice and soft and plastic just to ease it off gently, that's important. Don't rush, and easy job.